Hi, I'm Rachel Malatesta, and I want to welcome you to Arroyo Verde Elementary School. At Arroyo, we are committed to educating every student in a way that prepares them for college. We are dedicated to three core beliefs. We are committed learners, we are character-centered, and we are college-ready. We work to create a school that meets the needs of our students through the six exceptional systems, all under the umbrella of college readiness. We know that the moment students step through our gates, the journey to college begins, and every student has the right to an education that makes college possible. The culture of our school began to shift three years ago. As a staff, we asked ourselves these questions. Were we a place where every student believed that they could achieve? Did every parent know that we believed in their child? And was it easy to understand how we do things? From there, we started developing clear systems of how our school operates. We started using a language of hope instead of one of excuses. And we found that with common language came common understanding. We have three school-wide rules that utilize that common language and grade-level classroom management plans to help with consistency. Every Monday we show our school spirit by wearing our Arroyo Verde shirts and every Friday we show our commitment to being college bound by wearing spirit colors representing our adopted college or university. As you look around your child's classroom, it will be evident which college or university their class represents. As we begin the school year, you will see our college spirit from the flags, shirts, and chants represented. But more importantly, you will feel our enthusiasm and dedication for ensuring that each student is college ready. In your start of school information packet, you will find a student and parent handbook, as well as our three-way pledge. When you sign the pledge, your child and their teacher are committed to work together to bring your child one step closer to their college dream. On this forum, we ask that you participate and support your child's learning. Please look through this information in your parent handbook and sign the three-way pledge right now. Please keep the pink copy for yourself and leave the yellow and white copy for your child and their teacher. They will add these to your child's section in the classroom management binder. Here at Arroyo, you will find a common language and expectation across campus. It doesn't matter if students find themselves in the cafeteria, playground, computer lab, or a classroom. Our school rules are always the same. Be safe, no body contact, and show good character. Every day our classes begin with the morning meeting. The first 25 days of school, those meetings have a predetermined topic and the classes watch a video about one of our 25 expected behaviors. They use this time to discuss what those expectations are and how they can put them into practice. Additionally, all classes have similar classroom management plans. Students who break our student code of conduct sign the book in class and may be assigned a rethinking letter. All character violations are recorded in the same book all year, and teachers will speak with parents if they notice a trend in behavior. Any staff member may correct a student's behavior and will require students to sign the book. Hi, I'm Carmen Lewis, your PTA president. Our PTA board is looking forward to another amazing year. There are a few easy ways that you can support PTA right away. Every student receives a PTA membership envelope. Please complete the envelope and include $8 for each adult member. This money supports our school, district, state, and national PTA. You're also able to donate a flat amount to our school PTA in this envelope. Every dollar of the donated amount comes straight to Arroyo Ville. Joining PTA in no way obligates you to volunteer or attend meetings, but show us your commitment to supporting our school. If you would like to attend PTA meetings or get involved with PTA, please join us in the library on the second Thursday of each month. Another way you can offer support is to participate in our fundraising efforts. We plan to conduct three fundraising this year. Our fall fundraising raiser is a catalog fundraiser and will begin at the end of August. Our second fundraiser will be a popcorn fundraiser due in December. And finally, all of our students will have the opportunity to participate in a jogathon in the spring. Every dollar raised goes to support our Royal students. In the last three years, the Arroyo PTA has fundraised enough money to add wireless capabilities to the entire campus and put a document camera and a new computer in every campus. Your support makes all of the difference as we prepare our kids to the 21st century learners. Finally, you can volunteer. We're always looking for adults to help out with our fun, fun events like fall festival and family nights. There's so many ways to get involved. Be sure to check the website often and look forward to information coming home with your child throughout the year. Hello, 
My name is Mallory Mudge, and I am here on behalf of the Redlands Educational Partnership Foundation. Since its inception, the Rep Foundation has donated over $1 million to enrichment programs throughout our USD schools. As a former teacher and a district parent, I know how important enrichment programs are to our students. During the 2013-2014 school year, REP funded over $30,000 in grants to teachers for innovative classroom programs. REP also gave over $60,000 in funds to schools for technology, arts, gardens, and science enrichment. The REP Foundation raises money through community and corporate grants, along with individual donations. The goal of our REP 10 campaign is to receive a donation of $10 per student. We appreciate any donation made to continue enriching our students' education. Donation envelopes are available in your school office. Thank you for your time, and on behalf of the REP Board, I wish you and your family a successful school year. Our students have the right to a safe campus, and it's the responsibility of each and every one of us to keep them safe. With this in mind, we ask all adults to stop in the office before entering campus, even if it's just a job off a forgotten lunch or jacket. Miss Kathleen and Miss Janet are here to welcome all visitors to campus. Everyone must sign in and wear either a visitor or volunteer badge that is clearly visible. If you plan on volunteering on a regular basis, please talk with your child's teacher or office staff about our volunteer requirements. Please remember that instructional time is very important to the students and teachers. Please work with your child's teacher to schedule your volunteer or visitor time in advance to help limit interruptions. Each child must have a current emergency card on file. It is critical they were able to reach you in the event that your child becomes ill or injured during the school day. Please remember that only adults listed on the emergency card will be authorized to pick up your child from school. All adults on the card must have photo identification in order to pick up a student. We will not release students if we cannot verify proper identification. Please return the card as soon as possible with current information to help us keep your child safe. Should you need to update your information during the school year, please contact the school office. This year, we are updating our walk to school program to include daily scanning. Every day your child can walk or bike to school and stop in the cafeteria to scan their key fob. Students can receive their key fob after being registered on our school website as walk to school users located on our home page. Once kids are scanned, the program then emails parents to let them know that their child has arrived to school safely. The program also records the student's distance traveled and awards virtual badges as they increase in mileage. The north and south parking lots are both one-way streets. We ask that you pull forward as far as possible to allow pickup and drop-off to run smoothly. Please do not stop at the first yellow zone in the upper parking lot. Please pull all the way around. Remember that the yellow curbs are for loading and unloading of passengers, green zones are for parking, and red zones are for emergency vehicles only. Do not leave your car unattended in the red or yellow zone as it may be ticketed. Staff members will direct traffic at the crosswalk after school, and when you see the red stop sign, please stop to allow our students to cross safely. Our school library and computer lab are open Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 8 a.m. for book return and checkout. Students in grade T, K, and 1st will visit the library each week with their class. Students in grades 2nd through 5th will be able to visit the library every day. Open library time will be from 1 to 2 or 8 p.m. and teachers will be able to send students who have completed their AR quizzes to the library with a pass to check out new books. We are looking for library helpers in the morning and during open library time to assist students with checkout and reshelving books. Please contact our PTA volunteer coordinator about volunteering. There are several ways that you can utilize technology to stay connected to your child's learning. Check out our school website under Parent Resources for video tutorials that will show you how to join our school website as a parent user. Daily emails are then sent with information about upcoming events and activities. From the home page, you will find links to the ARIES Parent Portal to check your child's attendance, Accelerated Reader, Math Facts, and PayPams for your school payment needs. We do serve hot breakfast and lunch every day, and parents can also fill out a school lunch application on our website. Our funding is determined by those applications, so we do ask that all parents complete one as soon as possible. We would love to see 100% of our parents logged on as parent users. 100% is a number you will hear from us a lot. We want every child committed to learning, every child to be character-centered, 
and every child to be college ready. We will not offer excuses and will not accept excuses, but will continue to push on until we reach our goal. Together, this amazing community of students, parents, and educators will be part of a school that ensures that each student is prepared to enter college. Thank you for your continued support, and we are honored that you are part of the Arroyo family.